Each year in late May and early June, a transition period happens as post-spawn striped bass leave their Chesapeake Bay spawning grounds and begin to migrate up the east coast along the central Jersey shore. These fish move in and out of the inlets and stage up on the beaches. They share water with the aggressive bluefish and together they chase Bunker, one of their primary forage fish targets. With the water warming, I decided to join my buddy Greg Kudnick of Fisherman's Headquarters in Long Beach Island, New Jersey to see if I could catch my first striped bass or bluefish on a fly rod just off Barnegat Lighthouse at the Barnegat Inlet. Try both slow, fast, anything in between. Let me get up there a little bit. I'm gonna get you closer. Just so you know, the line where that uh, where that uh, color change is yep. is about the length of the boat. Okay. So if you've got that out, I can guarantee you I'm not gonna run the line over. Okay. I it's got my it. job to make sure. That's really all I'm worried about is your line all day. I got it. But I'm just saying, if you know that I'm moving like this and it's way back there, just say something. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. mind to yell at me. I got you. But basically, there's rocks. Oh, kind of 10 to 20 feet in front of us here. That's kind of where you want to cast at. Okay. Just give me one second. I'm going to stop the move and then yeah. you can go for it. Game on whenever you're ready. Right now? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. We're in the game, dude. <laughs> We're in the game. Perfect, dude. The one, two, and in. Oh, fish. Fish on. Fish on. This is awesome. You're good. Just go right to that reel. Yep. You should have very little drag. So if he's pulling, you got to give him line. Dude, this is awesome, Greg. <laughs> the conditions are literally perfect right now for this. It's gonna start cranking, you'll see. Okay. The tide goes Whoa cranking. man, he is. How much can I how much can I put on this want fish? Too much. If you want to tighten your drag a little bit, I don't know what it is. I mean it might be a blue fish that's got your leader. Do you let him run? Yeah, if he, if he wants to run, you gotta let him go a little bit. Yeah! This, I can't tell if it's a blue or a I would definitely kind of go easy with him just because it is a blue. Yeah. I don't remember if I put the, the wire bite on that. I think I did. Okay. Yeah, I definitely did. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. That Touching is that line out. Dude, that is awesome. That's a good size for what we've had lately. So that's a bluefish? Yeah. Toothy critter. Wow. Yeah, you definitely aren't lifting this guy. Dude, my adrenaline's like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he bit that wire too. So should I just drop him? Yeah, first fish of the day. Send him on his way. Just throw him in there. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, I, I think I just missed one there. Got one. Yeah! This one's moving a little bit faster. A lot faster, actually. I saw that there was a fish came up on... Fish came up on the surface and tried to eat it right on the surface. Yeah, a little, a little fish. Nice. Should you tickle them while they open up? You got me on them, Greg. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you're on this side of the rock, so you can fish that really slow. <laughs> Just 
Don't pull it out too quick. You might fly right to the boat. Ah, let's see. There it is. It's on there? Nice. He took it right to the boat. Dude, that was awesome. I got that one on the camera. Perfect. This is unreal, Greg. We just gotta get Mr. Striper now. I know. They're in the corner of the mouth. That's good, good work for you. Up, buddy. Man, when they lock down, they got they get locked jaw, man. Yeah, uh, destroy the fly too if you get it out. Yeah. You gotta kind of wait for him. Very cool. Uh, but I'm assuming somewhere in the bay, maybe the dock or something. Yeah, somewhere cool, somewhere where we can set up the tripod again. I just thought that putting that tripod on the dock was uh No that Oh oh fish fish big fish oh. I don't know what it was but something came up and ate it. We get blue fish from my eyeball but yep. Let's see if he's got feather in his mouth. He's got feather in his mouth, you can probably get him. Swallowed that thing for sure. Dude, when you first said fish, I thought it was a bass. <laughs> That's what I thought. I mean, you were right on them rocks. Take him that size. Who wants to go that way? There's some red under this. Oh, uh, he's got his mouth right on that leader. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. Let me put this Okay guys, it's about lunchtime. Greg and I wrapped up a pretty awesome morning of fishing. I know it was my first experience being able to chase bluefish or straight bass on the fly rod. And Greg had me on bluefish right away this morning. You know, uh, Greg explained to me that kind of like a lot of the other species that I've fished for, like salmon, steelhead, low light conditions have these fish on the bite and uh, surely that was the case. We got out of here about 5.30. We're probably fishing by six here at Barnegat Inlet. And um, those fish were, were on those uh, little clouser minnows, uh, you know, small white fish bait imitation. Um, it was very exciting. So I got right into the bluefish as you saw on camera. Um, we also did get into a couple of nice striped bass. Uh, they were not on the fly. And Greg can kind of explain that. We had to switch over to a uh, live lining bunker. Um, did you want to talk about that a little bit, Greg? How, why is it that when you're out there fishing that rip, um, that sometimes those fish move off the, the fly opportunity to the, the live bait? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, we started off there getting up on the structure, getting the current, um, fishing the fly. The wind was light. Basically, the conditions kind of all aligned with, with a lighter somewhat of a lighter current, lighter wind, and allowed for us to fish the fly. Um, there's certain times where that current could be a little more stiff or it makes it more difficult, but what happened to us this morning was the conditions were perfect, everything was great, but being it's Saturday, a bunch of boats show up with live bait, which is sort of the easy way out, um, and they start sending live baits in the, into the area. Um, those fish, in my opinion, come, become somewhat of a, like a snob. Yeah. Uh, and they won't touch a, a hard bait, a, a jig, or a fly. I've actually seen that with steelhead too, really? where guys will fish um, egg sacks to steelhead and they won't eat anything else. Yeah, you get them turned over and yeah. it's, it, it's hard to get them back. Yeah. So I kind of saw that, you know, we, we, we didn't capitalize on a striped bass in, 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 in the early part. Um, nothing that you or I did, it's just your fly was in there, that's what bit. They're, yep. they're much more aggressive, the bluefish, yep. especially that first one was was a, for right now, it wasn't a big bluefish, but for this season, it was a pretty, a larger size bluefish. This yeah. year they've been running kind of one to three pounds. Yeah. Previous years, uh, we'll see them sometimes five, eight, 10, 15 pounds. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've had a couple of bluefish bigger than that this year, say in the double digits, but nothing, yeah. say massive. But your bluefish was 
you know, a medium sized one. It was aggressive and it kind of out competed what was there. Yeah. And then uh, we had a couple other bites there and then kind of the whole party showed up. The, sat the Saturday morning brigade um, yeah. pulls into, into the busy. spot. And then as they show up, the live baits go in, yep. um, those fish kind of turned off. So we didn't really waste much time. Yep. I knew what happened happened. It happened to me the other day. Yep. Switch gears real quick, went to the dark side, yep. went and caught some baits, got some live spot, got the live bunker, yep. um, got geared up, switch, switched over, got them in there and your first drop, you man. were tight. Yep. So yeah. congratulations you on the first straight bass, right? Hey, man. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I wanted it to be on the fly, but um, you know, I'm not a, a, a fly fishing snob, even though that's all I have on the channel. Um, it was still really cool to catch one of those fish. And now now I'm like totally stoked and I want to catch one of those giant, like, <laughs> you know, 40 plus inches that, yeah. uh, you know, are breaking the scale. So I'll definitely be back for this, cool. man. But thanks for sharing a little bit of your world with us and with the viewers. Cool. And uh, we're going to do it again, man. You're welcome maybe, anytime. Maybe this fall. Anytime. All right. Just give me a holler and we'll go. Thanks, man. Okay, I really appreciate it. Thank you.